Your character, you yes. know, um, the family unit is basically still together, regardless, you know, even though they kind of split. So, yeah. is that kind of a change of pace from what we've seen of, you know, from superhero families where they're not really? Together? I mean, I think what's special about it is that it's it feels more real than what we've seen. I mean, this idea of this kind of perfect family that kind of has it down and has it all together, it, I think is ridiculous. I mean, it, like in real life, people are human, they make mistakes, marriages fail, you know, kids get into trouble. That's that's the way the world is. So I think actually what we've got feels a lot more rooted in a reality. And I think that's what's quite special about it. Yeah. So how is it, you know, your character doesn't have power. I don't. But you are in a family full of superheroes. Mm. So when do you first find out about Jefferson's powers? Like, is it while they're dating? Yeah, you know, so I get married. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they're sort of high school, college sweethearts. And that's when she first sort of realized he has this superpower. And she's one of the only people that knows about his secret identity and I think you know what she does is you know she's very nurturing and she's very grounded but also she doesn't want to be a widow and if your husband's going out every night and fighting crime then he may not come back so that's ultimately what separates them originally and then kind of what ironically brings them back together or certainly makes him go back to his crime fighting is the, these two children who also don't have superpowers and um, and they're young, so it's kind of like, well, we need to teach them how to use those powers. Because if you have a gift or a power, it's the, you know, do you use your power for good, do you use your power for evil? So it's like, again, it goes back to this real, this real life situation of, like, how do you navigate that? How do you navigate, you know, you do one thing, you want your children to do another. Like, do I want my children to be actors? You know, it's like, do you know what I mean? Like, so it's really, this is what, this is, it's what we're all dealing with, you know, like, how do I, what, what do I put out in the world? Am I a good person? Am I a bad person? You know, like, I think that's the thing, like, it's very universal themes. Are Jefferson yes. and Lynn, when they come back together, coming back together as parents? Or do yes, we get to see parents. more as parents? There's a lot of love there, there's a lot of respect there. You know, obviously they've got these two incredible children. And there's definitely going to be, I think, a lot of like, will they, won't they? I think that's going to be a big, you know, draw for the, for the audience. Certainly the mums and dads watching, I think. Um, <laughs> But yeah, there's still, there's a lot of respect there, you know, and um, the only reason that she sort of didn't want to stay in the marriage is because he kind of had an addiction to being a crime fighter. So, you know, you could replace crime fighter with gambling or alcohol, like whatever you want, that's what's going on. And I think that's, it's very difficult. You love someone so much, but you see them doing something that could really hurt them. So it's all there, like it's all in there. And then you've got this amazing level of three superheroes in one show. I mean, you're not gonna get bored, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Of, it sounds to me like she is the like emotional yeah exactly of this family. exactly how much of this is like family drama and like her managing her kids and like after she finds out they have powers obviously it's like whole new level of worry yeah and of course as exactly well. exactly so what do you draw from what do you pull from what's your inspiration well I'm a mother so I've got two girls I mean they're a lot younger but um, you know I'm one of them is almost about to become a teenager so I'm <laughs> I'm going there, you know. So I, I relate to, to Lynn on so many levels, being a working mum, being a black woman, um, having children and, and trying to sort of raise them to be decent and give them a good moral compass. I mean, that's where I live. That's where I'm living right now. So it's not hard for me to, to get there, you know. Thank you, Nathan. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Nice to meet you.